Alpha, Beta, and Omega. I guess is the build that I was going for in this one. So I pick up this card after I defeat the Hexagos, which is one of the bosses from Act 1. So if you're wondering where that is in the video, I put chapters down below like I do in all my vids. So feel free to skip to Act 2 if you want to start watching it from there. So the interesting thing with this type of build is that you have to do a certain amount of things to make it work. Because when this card is activated, it damages 50 to all enemies per turn. So the three things that you need in order to make this build work, at least in my opinion, is one, defensive cards, two, energy cards, and three, draw cards so you can cycle through your deck faster. So we try that. And this is exactly another follow-up from the video that I posted earlier this week that I'll put in the description down below with the link that says I finally feel like I understand how to play Slay the Spire. And the video just before this one I'll also put in the description down below with the link that is me having one of my longest but also most stressful runs with an apparition build. This is just a follow-up, all from the same stream, by the way, and how much I try to utilize my deck based off of what I have in my hand instead of pick up cards and pick up cards and pick up cards and pick up cards. So I feel like this is just another prime example of just overall playing the game at a different mental state and just overall better mindset. So with that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed this one. And if you do, drop a like on the video. And of course, subscribe if you want to see more content like this. As I always say, be safe, be humble, and of course, do what you do best. See you guys in the next one. <sighs> Sorry about my voice. Peace. All right. Back to square one. I'm not looking at this. All right, so what do we got here? We got um, two elites left side, probably preferred to go that way. I'll probably just fight enemies directly going like this. Go here. Uh, then go to a question mark, see what's there, maybe. Go here, go here, go here, fight two elites. Um, if I obtain a hundred gold, is there a shop in this path? No, so gold doesn't make sense to do. Removing two cards by losing max HP. Or remove a card from your deck. Or obtain a random boss relic. I think the boss relic is going to be good. Watch it be Sneko. Oh, it's not. Okay. straight up so we don't have a miracle in our hand it's okay it's a weird first draw All my strike cards. There they are. Jesus Christ. Who is the who is the enemy here? Burning guy. We should probably do this. Probably a good idea. Oops, I went the wrong way. My bad. Well, might as well.
all poop. I didn't realize the energy cost. I'm so five. I'm so silly. I thought I was at four for some reason. I don't know. It's not gonna kill him, is it? That's silly. Whatever. Be aggressive. Be aggressive. A strength potion? I ain't gonna run away from a fight. This one's better. Between the two choices. Alright, since we messed up our pathing, let's go this way. Well, um, we have a little bit till we have to do anything. I think smithing a card would be a good idea. Do eighteen on him. Damn it, it doesn't interrupt. Desperate. I ain't taking sixteen damage there. I've already taken enough damage in this act. What's going on right now? Should we just defend twice and then attack once? It's not slime guy. It's fire burning dude again. Like, why do I keep getting fire burning dude here? This is the this is the perfect one since you don't have the water anymore. Uh, go here. Adding three miracles to your deck would be a great idea. It is a skill card, however, so maybe we wait until a later part of the run to do that. So let's do this. The boot. It costs one less. Well, then we should do this. Hello, Elite. Oh, perfect. It's you guys. Let's go ahead and do... Um... Uh, let's see...
A lot of miracles in our hands. This is going to take forever. Sure, all seems like it. Another one of those? That's interesting. It's a retainable card, so it's like it's not that annoying, to be honest. We have to use it, we can use it, or we don't, whatever, doesn't matter. Probably doing this is the best bet. And we can always enter Wrath here if we really want to end the end it, but we'll see what we're feeling. He is the elite. Good thing I can actually protect here and it won't affect damage output and whatever, so that'll be nice. I think we go like this. No, that's not gonna work. Gotta be smart here. I like to use my potions if I have them in elites. I feel like it helps me a bit more get through the fight. Okay, nice. Budafa. Can't kill him, fortunately. And I really don't want to be at one HP doing this, so I'm gonna go like this and this. Actually, wait, I can do that. I'm so silly. Okay. Interesting, okay. Nothing really feels like it's going to help me with the build I'm doing currently in my mind. I 
Okay, that's gonna do a lot of damage, right? I'll take it. A lot of potions just for that specific situation, but whatever. So we have to rest because we got to make sure that we are strong for this fight sort of ish. I was thinking about going eruption there, but I'm like, I don't know what he does this next turn. I feel like that's going to be a really dumb thing, and the bank on hopefully getting something that makes sense is just not a smart move.
You're gonna put me at what? We, I think we got him here actually. It's close, very balanced. Kind of worries me because it's a very balanced deck. Like, I feel like I gotta get it a little stronger here. That's what I need right there. Something like that. For that innate. For that whatever build. Oh, it's these guys, okay. <sighs> Alright, elites, where are you? There is no only... Okay, I was gonna say, like, wait a minute, what? Go like this, this... This, this, yeah. Very chill act too, not a lot of going on there it seems like. Okay. We start skipping cards too, I feel like too, to get a higher chance of that said card. Just an FYI. I feel like. Like this. We should definitely start skipping cards. Because if we feel like that can carry us, we should definitely make sure that we're playing that smart and not go too crazy. Like, I think at this point now, we have great attack cards, we have everything else, whatever. You know, now we have to almost balance our deck around that said thing so I can make sure that we're utilizing it correctly. And hopefully we get the right rotations as well. So I'll do that. Hello, shop. Well, we're not going for a Matra build. I'm going to be really honest with you. Nothing really grabs me in the sense of what I want. Like, maybe this might be good. But like, nothing grabs me like I want this or want that right now. I feel like this is maybe the only thing that I may take. Wait until a different room shows up. Oh, wow. Sweet. Okay. What am I getting? Okay, interesting.
And it's only going to do 10. Okay, say we get rid of him. Say we do this. Hmm. And then I'd say we go like this, and then use an energy, and then go like this, and end the turn. Nice. Okay. Do I already have Bowling Patch? I believe I do, and I feel like that's okay to have just one. I don't need multiple. I'm gonna skip. Only issue now with this is Sneko likes to fuck me up, and I don't like when he does that. Hopefully this can go quick. Hopefully. don't want to go for Matra here unless it's like I feel like I want to go for this Omega run thing I want to try it and see if I can really use the cards correctly and whatever let's see if we can do something with it here We'll see. Say we wait until we absolutely like he does like an insane amount of damage before I even just like I don't want to take any like I should probably wait on that for sure. Yeah, there's Alpha. How are you? I've been looking for you in this particular build that I'm trying and you decide to just mosey on show up now because you're just lazy and don't care. again but look at all that damage I'm gonna take this is just like the last run dude where it's like the cards are just like not in your favor it's like all right let's go like let's get the cards I actually want 
And they're like, nah, just kidding. We're not going to do what you want. Devaform is a really good card to have. Devaform is really good for this. Those cards came in real handy right there. Twenty-seven. What are you doing? No, I'm dead. Oh, I could have retained what? I forgot that that was a thing in my deck. I wonder what would have happened if I would have done that, honestly. Now that I think about it, the fairy in the bottle still be there. Who knows? Who knows at this point? I say we rest here. Well, wait, where are we going? No, we don't need to rest. We can smith. Let's do this. We need to start with this for sure every time we have to. If we're focusing on that said build. Strawberry, we need to do this. One enemy, and then we can also then do it. So let's... Let's rest here to make sure we're at good health. And then we'll do this again. What do we get? Okay, these guys. Retaining cards would be a very good RNG factor, or not RNG, but like, um... What am I trying to say? Like, getting the, you know, the, that insight's a very good, like, way to get the build we're trying, I think, essentially.
Um, I always go like this, and then I empty fist. Then I want to go like this. Then I want to go like this. And then I want to... I guess gain block here. Okay, so you're gonna do eight. Do I want to just do six, six, and then defend? I kind of don't mind taking just two damage here. Technically, I guess I can do that too, but it's only two damage. I'd rather wait to use that retain card when it actually makes sense to. It's only two damage at the end of the world. all these insights. What the fuck? Uh, I definitely do this. It's also an upgraded card too. Didn't take much damage there, so let's go ahead and smith. This needs to not be Aerithal, I think. Otherwise, you lose the opportunity of using it. I think. So let's let's upgrade that baby. Okay, we're gonna go here so we can go to shop because we can't get any more gold anyways due to the ectoplasm that we have. Six, twelve, eighteen. Otherwise, I can go fifteen and then get rid of one of them just to take twelve damage. I think that's smarter. Don't worry about Deva form right now. Another fairy in the bottle. We just got that in the first act. The second act? Yeah, first act. Now we get it again. Holy crap. This will be nice to have. Or that, too. Let's do this. All right. Is there anything we can get here that would be helpful to the run? Probably this. A regen would... Mm, Again, I'm not seeing anything. I'd say this is fine, but otherwise we can go again. We can leave. 
And we're going to have to rest. We can't recall because whatever, but we don't sit. We're not sitting very well on health here. So, but we do have fairy in the bottle. So whatever it is what it is. We'll see how it goes. I'm thinking long term in this fight here right now. Maybe it won't. I think Deva form is a very obvious choice here. And then we just die. I think. Well, actually, do I die here? finally RNG me correctly. Now he's confused. He's like, where's my friends? And little does he know I got rid of them. So he's kind of stupid. So now they come back. I don't even have to focus them. Technically speaking, I do not even have to focus them because they're going to die next turn. He's going to do 27 to me, but I'm going to be revived with the fairy thing. I can do my best here to try to keep myself alive. I definitely will. I'm not saying I won't. And we will be alive. Wow. You ain't getting rid of me this easy, buddy. You ain't getting rid of me this easy, buddy. Um. I'm confident. I'm very confident. Why don't we go into eruption, end it? We save that fairy in the bottle. We don't have to use it this act. Even though we got a second one for the run. Hey, thanks, man. I appreciate it. God, as much as I want to go Matra here with this, I feel like it isn't worth it. It's tempting. It really is. But then that's greed at that point. I'm telling myself and I'm saying, hey, I got to go and do this. And I don't think that that's smart. I don't think that's a smart way to play. Judgment is a great card, but again, I feel like if I keep adding more cards, I'm, I'm causing Omega to make it harder for me to keep. So we're just going to skip these cards. Double the effectiveness of potions, obviously. 
because now this is going to be 60% of my health versus whatever. So that's a great synergy. So now we're in Act 3. And we have the guys. We have the dude, the Donut Men here. So we have to at least rest once somewhere. The quickest uh, place to get a campsite is probably here. And I can make a decision at any point if I feel like I want to maybe do this. Oh, God, we should definitely go that way. Maybe we should go that way. Now that I'm thinking of it. We also, is there any other? Uh, there isn't. So we probably should do, if anything, like this. Go this way. And come up this way. Yeah, let's do that. Because we don't, I don't know what we're going to get for 133 here. Oh, I always forget that if my card is empty, what did I even have there? I think the, the the getting a bunch of enemies in one turn is really good because um, we don't have another AOE card that I feel like is going to matter. We have the only one I think is the uh, this one, and I think we need to have at least three of these would help in the run, I think. I think it would help it a little more. Bowling Bash would have been nice too, but it's okay. Um... Okay, so here I think I have to just do this, and then the next turn, your next card is played twice. It's 15, right? 6, 12, 11, I think it's going to be 19 damage. Just taking one is okay for me. So 30 here. It's a lot of damage I'd be taking, so I feel like I need to focus on what makes sense. get them down lower so I can get them in the next turn or two or whatever. I don't know. still have Omega still coming into play here. We just got to make sure we hold it off. There it is. Okay. 
I think we'll pick up this card. It's a good card to have. Two of the same. Ooh, Enter Divinity Stance. That might be a good one. That might be a good one here. Alright. Gain 10 strength. Or get this. Probably that would probably be keeping. Um, I don't feel comfortable fighting elite with 29 health right now. Ooh, that's huge. That's huge. But it's 69. The issue I went. Why I say it's huge though. Yeah, we have to. It's huge because I can now recall. That's why that's huge. And we're going to go this way. We're going left. Well, I have to give up something. We'll lose strike. What do we want to smith? What do we want to smith here? It'll be one cost. Uh, we should probably upgrade follow up, honestly. Get a little more damage there. Potions always appear. I'm personally probably going to hang on to the ones that I have. Personally. The next one I'm looking at is probably this puppy. So let's be smart. Let's make sure we do this in case we need to block. Um, 16. Obviously, you know, the thing does 10 on the stupid whatever. Who cares? Nothing I can do. <sighs> I think here I'm going to use quite a bit of stuff. Um, I'm going to go like this. Use the beta. Add a gain here. It's Deva form. Um, use both of these. 
and then just do that. I'm kind of risking Deva form by doing that, but I want more energy. Because I don't know if I'm ever going to get Omega, and when I do, you know, like obviously I got it there, but it's just one of those things I got to not bank on and trust. Interesting choice with Alpha. Like with this build, that is, because it's very tough. We do have that, though. Still haven't gotten our beta fucking bull select here. It's crazy. what's going to happen. You know what I mean? I have to, I'm going to die and then I'm wasting fairy on the chance of, you know, whatever. So it's going to go 50 here and it's going to technically do no damage. If I'm understanding that correctly. Yep. I'm still alive. Had to use divinity. Had to. Just based off of that, if an enemy does a lot of damage, I need this. It's going to be a huge thing to have with the miracle, all that other stuff. This guy sucks. I'm going to try something weird. 30.
I'm gonna try a long game here. I'm gonna see if I can just Omega him down and see if that does anything to me. Let's see if that hurts me or helps. Okay. In the end game here, regardless of what happens, I just have to try to stay alive. It's all I have to do. Technically, again, I can just shield up and the turn. Okay. So now I can look at this and I can go, okay, I can technically get him here by going like this, 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 go like this, this, and the turn he's dead. That was a very interesting way to play the Omega, but I honestly was like, I'm just going to see what happens here because I'm not. He changes his attack pattern regardless whenever I'm aggressive to him. And I feel like the Omega was going to carry me for that situation since it's been basically doing that this whole run. We have two concentrates. We can go two concentrates. I mean, we've had we've had two of almost everything in this in this kind of weird sort of build here. Because we have like two follow ups. Let's do it. Okay, this might not work as I hope, but what I will do though is I will focus only this person and this person, hoping that this does its job that it's supposed to do. I'm gonna let Omega take him out. <laughs> Defend Twa. Hello, Omega. How are you? Now, I don't know. I will check this to make sure, but I feel like... Oh, it doesn't matter anyways. I have no more energy. Okay, it doesn't hurt you. Good. Eh, we've been here before, haven't we?
Oh my god, I... I don't like that there's a delay there, man. I hate that so much. Sucks. I don't know, man. Where the frick is my cards? Do I want to use Deva form? Um, let's see. I don't know. To be 110% honest. 32 damage. So if I wouldn't have not blocked, I would have been dead. So I know I'm alive. is tough. Toughy Wuffy. Where are all my block cards? Lame. Look at this deck, and we clearly have, you know, block cards and shit. Rotation just doesn't go in the favor that I want. I really tried super hard to not pick up so many cards so that I, I would hope that Omega, Alpha, whatever would work. We had a great setup with the Deva form to get extra energy per turn so that when the Omega would show up, I could still do extra damage or have to block or do whatever. But it just sometimes seemed like the rotations were just super odd for it. It was super, super odd. I'm almost feeling like how I got to play this. I'm like very close. Very, very close to the point where maybe I feel like, you know, if we, we, look, at the, we look at this run and we look at some of the stuff we passed... I don't personally think that we played horrible. I don't think it was a bad move where we avoided anybody in, you know, these areas. I don't think losing the HP of 10 to that one question mark area was the end of the world. We had a lot of upgraded cards here. 
you know, a lot of upgraded cards. Um, we're at least getting to Act 3. We're at least getting to the bosses in Act 3. And we're at least getting the synergies now because of the type of build I'm doing. I mean, I look, I look at this and I go, all I really tried to do my best was to make sure that I had enough block cards. I think the one thing... The one thing that was missing in this deck that could have definitely cemented the difference in this altogether was the power establishment. That would have been huge. Because if we would have had power establishment, we could have been using this block zero energy. Because this would have stacked very well with this. I don't necessarily think replacing this in the beginning killed the run or affected it or did anything differently. Um, I just think I'm just curious on how the cards rotate, you know, like, it, I mean, I don't know. I, I don't, I don't know. I mean, it makes you think we obviously have to pick up cards. I think we had a good, I think we had a good amount. Just the trend will always be I think in a roguelike experience that you can build your deck the way that you feel is the best to try to make it so that you have a higher chance of whatever blah 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 but if the cards are not rotating in your favor even though you have a proper build going that is why you lost because in that perfect situation we had a very good build going, but the rotation just wasn't perfect. So it was a very quick run, only an hour and 10 minutes. So, but it's fine. That's it. That's all I can say. We'll keep trying though. We're making progress. I think we're doing good. You just gotta keep trying. Just gotta keep trying. One day, man, one day. <laughs>